All right, we're gonna build a four by eight workbench that has a shelf, a bottom shelf, its own wheels, and it should look like this when we're finished. So you're gonna need a chop saw or a hand saw. This was a Hitachi saw I bought, but you can use a hand saw or any type of chop saw. You don't really need a miter saw or anything uh, super fancy for this build. I'm gonna be using a framing nailer. You could just use a hammer and nails as well. You'll need a circular saw or a hand saw. Circular saw is gonna make this a lot easier on you. I use a speed square all the time when I'm building, so I recommend you use that. Obviously a tape measure. I also like to use a drywall square uh, when I'm doing a lot of this work. And then uh, if you've got any clamps handy, those will help you out. Your materials list. I, for this build, I used one three quarter inch, uh, four by four by eight sheet of hardwood plywood. I think it was maple, the one that I bought. Uh, then I used a second sheet of cheaper, a half inch four by four by eight sheet of plywood for the shelf. Then I needed, uh, I used 11 two by four by eights for this project. Purchased four locking caster wheels that are heavy duty. Each one uh, will tell you what they're uh, rated for weight wise and the weight is per wheel. So you decide about how much weight you think you're gonna end up using for yours. Uh, I use three inch framing nails with my nailer as well as uh, inch and a half nails. A couple wood screws to screw the casters on to the uh, legs and then construction he adhesive like a liquid nails. Just one tube would be fine for this project. First I'll lay out my two by fours uh, just to ensure that I've got the right measurement uh, for the cross studs I'm gonna put in. First two two by fours, I'm just using their full lengths, which are eight foot, which is the same length as the sheet of plywood that I purchased. Sometimes the plywood or even the two by fours can be a little off. So I always me measure and double check that they are actually eight feet. You're gonna need to cut, I use three studs to go in between those two. And really what you're gonna be doing there, it's a 48 inch width when you put those two by fours in. So we're just deducting the inch and a half uh, width of the two by four by eight at the top, the second one at the bottom, and then that's gonna be 45 inches. So we need to cut three 45 inch uh, two by fours. That's gonna be our first cut to build this frame. Okay, now I've got the studs cut for the uh, in the middle or in between the, the outside of the frame. And then what I wanna do here is just measure the center, which should be 48 inches from each end. So I can know exactly where to put that middle um, stud. So I'll measure that out. And then I'm just going to put in two three inch nails at every stud. Next, we're going to build the legs and I'm going to take two two by fours and put them together in an L shape. And then we'll put those legs right in each corner like this. The table legs determining the length of the two by fours. The total height or the finished height of this bench, I wanted to match the counters I have already, which is 35 and a half inches. So what I have to do is I start off with that 35 and a half inch measurement. I'll deduct the three quarter thickness of the top piece of plywood, my, my countertop or the tabletop. I deduct five and one eighth inches for the casters. That's the total height of those wheels. And that gives me 29 and 5 eighths. So that's what I'm, I'm going to end up cutting the legs. All those legs are going to be 29 and 5 eighths. So it's going to be two per leg uh, the way we're building them. So you're going to need a total of eight of these cut at 29 and 5 eighths. All right, now that I've got them all cut, I will uh, fasten them together with uh, about three framing nails on each one in that L position there. So I'll nail them all together and I'll just put them in place in each of the corners. I'm not gonna fasten them to the frame just yet. All right, now I'm going to be building the frame for the second or for the shelf. So I've got to figure out um, if that's gonna to go to this side. It's gonna fit inside of the legs. So we just gotta determine the lengths and widths of that finished shelf and the frame size. So what I do is I'll take that total length of or the finished length of 96 inches which is eight feet and we're going to deduct this leg this leg the thickness which is inch and a half inch and a half and then also the inch and a half from the outside frame of the first frame we built an inch and a half here so that's three inches from there three inches from there so we'll take that 96 
I got to drop three inches for the frame we built and then another three for the legs that it's fitting inside. So that gives me a finished length of 90 inches. Uh, and I need two of those, obviously, this one and the one out there. And then we got to build the uh, cross pieces just like we did the first frame. And if determined that length, it's really the same formula. Take that finished width of the overall 48 inches. We're going to drop uh, three and three to get us um, and actually another three because we are inside another set. So, or because of these two by fours gives us the other, or the third set of three inches to take away ends up giving us 39 inches. So if you stick with my frame, my size, you can copy these measurements all together and you'll get that 39 inches and we're going to be cutting three of those. So one, two, three. So then I'll uh, just pull off the tape measure and double check my measurements, make sure the math is all adding up and making sense. Um, and if you're changing your measurements as well, then just go ahead and set this up in place like I'm doing here, get your measurements and they should be accurate. But I don't measure from the top, measure from the bottom where they're all just sitting in place. All right, I cut the 90 inch studs, they're sitting in place and now I'm putting the 39 inch ones in place as well. Really just dry fitting, making sure everything fits way I hope and it's supposed to. And it's good, so now we'll put it all together and start nailing it. Just like the first frame, I'll set all the pieces in place and mark the centers. Now it's a 90 inch length, so the center should be 45, so I'll mark that for the center studs and then we'll nail it in. And remember, we'll fire in two nails, three inch nails at each stud. All right, the shelf frame is done. Now I'll have to cut a piece of plywood or the sheet of plywood to go on top. And then the finished size of that plywood sheet we're going to cut is going to be 90 by 42. So I do have to trim down a, a 96 by 48 sheet. I'm going to cut this sheet rough side up because of the way my circular saw cuts. It'll give me a nice smooth edge on the other side. Okay, I'll mark 90 at two spots. Draw the line in between the two. Clamp down that drywall square and rip it down with the circular saw. Okay, I made my 42 inch marks, drew the line, and the plywood cut so easily on the first edge that I didn't need to clamp down the guide for this edge. All right, then we'll flip it over, dust it off, and put the smooth side on top, and make sure that it fits. And this is where we'll use the inch and a half nails to secure it to the frame. Now we'll take each of the legs, set them on each corner, nail them in, then we'll flip the table over, add the casters. I just added four three inch nails on each of the legs to the frame and then we'll flip it over and screw in the casters. All right next step place all the casters in their positions mark all of the holes and then pre-drill with a drill bit then we'll screw them in with wood screws. All right we've got the casters in place I flipped it back over and now I'm ready to put the frame of the tabletop on top of the legs. I put a couple clamps in place so we can rest the frame right on top of the legs. Uh, once we put it in, I definitely needed a couple more clamps. So added a couple more clamps to position it so I could start nailing it into the legs. All right, before I nail it in, just gonna use the level, check for level uh, both directions, making sure I like how it's um, set up and then I'm going to start nailing it in with the three inch nails. Final step, I just ran a bead of liquid nails all around the frame and we're going to set the top piece of plywood sheet right on top, make sure it's flush on all the edges and that'll be it. After the build, my wife did decide to go in, fill in all the holes with wood putty give it a nice little finish, sanded it down, and painted it all to match the rest of the workshop. So, and this was a really fun build. Uh, it's been a great table space, awesome for wrapping Christmas presents, uh, but really all of your projects, it's a, it's a great space to work on.